I'm really fortunate to have a great space in my house for a home office. And when I first set it up, I made it a combination of a craft room and an office space. Over the past couple of years, the crafting has definitely taken a back seat and the clutter has built up. Also over the past year, my business has changed a lot and I needed this space to be a lot more practical. So it was time for a change and an update to the space and I really wanted to share it with you because I love how it's turned out. I'm Laura Bean and welcome to my creative little world. So my office space is basically a three by three room. It's the box room of the house. It's got a great big storage cupboard in it, which is really, really helpful. But as I said, it's recently just become a bit of a dumping ground. A few years back, I created my craft wall where I could hang on my craft gear and make it really accessible. However, we all know what hobbies are like and you get busy and I just wasn't really using it. Also, as you've probably noticed, I started creating YouTube videos and I wanted to use the space as a studio as well. I've also evolved to two businesses so I have my freelance copywriting and content writing services and I also run Creative Little World which is a website for new and aspiring freelancers. So I needed the space to become multifunctional to run these two businesses. I wanted an area to plan what I was doing, I needed an area to make the video content I was making. I now have a fair bit of kit to help towards my video making so I needed to store this and obviously I still needed a effective workstation because I have lots of client work to deliver. So the decluttering commenced and yeah this took a little bit of time. I tried to be really ruthless so if I hadn't used it in the last three years and I really couldn't see myself using it again it either went into the bin or to charity. So the craft wall then became the media center or the media wall or whatever you want to call it. And it's now where I hang my video kit when I'm not filming. I also created a little motivational board on there. So this has got things like inspirational quotes, goals that I want to achieve. It's got a picture of a beautiful beach because I want to aim for more holidays. So every time I look at it, I have a reason to feel inspired. So I also wanted a permanent backdrop for my videos, as you can see behind me here. Now, this area can double up as an extra space for planning or crafting if the mood gets me, but it's also so a nice setup area so every time I want to film a video I just set up the kit and I'm good to go. Now my planning wall is something I love about this room. I painted it with chalk or paint a while ago and although I do occasionally still use the chalk I have been using it to pin up my planning and inspiration. Now I have covered these up because I can't give all my secrets away but what you can't see under there are the plans for my business. Lots of post-its to help me plan and general strategies on how to grow and develop both businesses. Of course I still have to deliver the work so I have my dedicated workstation. It's also got my standing desk converter so I can stand up so I'm not just sat all day. This really helps to wake me up so I highly recommend having a look at one of those. I'll put a link in the description. It's also got my printer and my weekly planner so I can set up ready to work for the week and make sure I deliver all my content and copywriting for my clients. So what do you think? I love the space now. It feels really usable. It keeps me motivated. I love being in this room. The lack of clutter is definitely keeping my head clearer and it's just a nice space to be in. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your workspace is like. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to continue being part of my creative little world. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.